Here we have all the components we needed to test the hull potential of your boat. We have a millivolt meter, we have a cable, a five meter cable, so you connect this to any part of your hull. We have a reference electrode. Now this is a silver silver chloride reference electrode. It's connected to the negative terminal. Some people use silver spoons, that's incorrect. A silver spoon has its own potential, which is variable and it will give you the wrong result. So um, I've got a few sample materials here, uh, typically found on boats. So this is a fully galvanized bolt. So zinc on the outer. We have a clean piece of aluminium. Now we have a galvanized screw, which has lost some of its protection. So it's rusted a little bit. And then we have a piece of steel, which is uh, been corroded. So test is easy enough. Connect your outer, your cable, your sensor cable immerse in the solution and let's read it on the meter. Now well protected galvanized hull is going to be around 900 millivolts or minus 900 millivolts. This one's minus 926 so that's well protected. Nice clean bit of zinc. That's the sort of aspirational value you want for your hull. A clean aluminium hull, no corrosion. Again it's similarly well protected, so around about 900 millivolts. If you look there, minus 904 millivolts. Now, when your hull goes, the potential gets less negative. So we've connected this up. We're expecting to see a lower result. So now, as you can see there, it's gone, lost 200 millivolts. It's minus 740 millivolts. Uh, if that was perfectly new, that would be 920 millivolts. And then we have a hull which is unprotected and it's had some corrosion. And this will go down to a much lower number. Here, this is minus 466 or 467. Um, that can go as low as minus 350 when completely rusted. So um, this gives you an idea of the sort of values you'd expect of your own hull in the condition that it's in.